Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a full face tutorial using things that are already in my stash. So usually I do this kind of video and I'm using brand new things, but I shopped my stash today and decided to go into some oldies but some goodies. I also recreated the eye look that you guys <laughs> went ham over. It's so simple. Honestly, you could use any warm tone palette that you want, but I use this one from NARS. This is the Loaded palette this guy right here, but anything will work. Your Viseart palettes, your single shadows, your Tarte Toasted palette, your Modern Renaissance palette, just about anything is going to work. I just wanted to do this like slightly warm tone with a wing and I switched up the nude and went with a red lipstick today. I'm also gonna give you guys an update on what's going on with my knee and my job at the very end. So if you're curious about that, just stick around. But if you wanna see how I created this, full face, just keep watching. It's been a hot minute since I've used this foundation all over, so I'm gonna go in with this one today. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof in the shade NC20, and I'm gonna use my Linda Hallberg sponge. I will have every primer, anything I've used on my face listed down below, so if you're curious, it's all down there in the description box. This is a thicker foundation, but it is also nourishing, and that just means it's hydrating. I just really like to take my time with it because a little goes a long way. I just really work it into the skin, take it down my neck, go everywhere. I do my forehead and everything last because I just want to use the excess that's on the sponge instead of going heavy-handed there. And I also definitely suggest using a sponge instead of a brush, unless you're oily or you just want that extra coverage. Personally, I like it the best with a sponge. For concealer, I'm going to go in with this one from Smashbox. This is the Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer, and the shade I have is Light. I actually used to love this concealer. Then I got a hold of Shape Tape. You do have to dip in a few times to be able to get the coverage you want. This one's coverage is about a medium, so not full, but it's really nice. It's weird using an applicator that small because I'm so used to the sharp, <laughs> the sharp, the tart shape tape. I'm just gonna blend this in. I don't have a powder that I used to use underneath my eyes other than the Hourglass one, which you guys have seen a million times. So I'm going to use my new Becca one and my Delium 785. Take a little bit on the brush and set underneath the eye first. And then I'll start to pat right around my nose. I do set my nose with this powder just right here in this little area. For the rest of my face, I'm going to go with my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Delium 974. I like to tap this all over and then work it in. Again, just the excess from my brush I'm going to put on my forehead because I don't like it to be too dry up there. For my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I tried this a long time ago. It was on camera. It was like back when I was in my bedroom filming. And I like the formula, but the smell really got to me. And I'm gonna see if it still bothers me. But I'm gonna use, yeah, it's R. <laughs> I just opened it. I'm like, ah! <laughs> it is the 959. No, why? Like, I just don't, it's so intense. It smells like suntan lotion. It really is just such a great formula, and I like the color. I think they've come out with another color, so this one is Light Bronzer. Or that's what, at least that's what it says on here. Yeah. Oh, it's so, yeah, I still can't handle this smell. I just don't like it. It's not a bad smell. It's just that it's so intense. I, I don't see how people get past it, but... I don't know if like suntan lotion and like those things smell like that and people are used to it. Like I don't self tan, I don't do any of that. So I am not used to this smell and that's the only thing I don't like about it because the formula is real nice. I wonder if I air it out. Like I wonder if I just left it open. Would the formula go bad? I mean it's a powder. I don't know. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the Bombs Bomb Beach. This is what she looks like. And a Zoeva 126. Highlight MAC Double Gleam in a Linda Hallberg 306. This was like my holy grail for the longest time. I loved this. It's still quite beautiful. Like, it's been a while since I popped this on. 
It's really nice. We are glowing today. <laughs> I'm going to buff using my Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Illuminating Power Powder. I've got the power in the shade Nude. Lumiere Powder Brush. This is such a great option. One of my actual favorites especially in the pressed form for a radiant powder that isn't going to really accentuate things. You don't have to be super careful with. It's really pretty. Remember when I first tried this, I was like shocked. I'm going to spray my face with my Josie Moran Nirvana Treatment Mist, and then we'll move on to eyes. Tom Ford number 13 and the light orange shade in the palette. I'm going to start on the outer corner and work it up into the crease. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade underneath the lower lash line as well on a Wayne Goss number 20. Top right matte gray shade on a Delium 776, starting on this outer corner again, and then I'm gonna work it into the crease and slightly upward. I don't want this to be too smoked out, but I do want a little smokiness. MAC 221 in the shade directly below that gray, it's like a shimmery brown. I'm going to work this on the outer corner and then slowly take it into the crease as well. But I'm not going to bring this all the way in, just halfway. And again the shade right below that, the shimmery black. I'm going to go light handed with this on the very outer V. I'm just going to tap this in and just kind of blend it out and only here. So I only want this shade to be right in this V area here. I'm just gonna softly blend it out. My 776, no additional product, and that's gonna help the edge a little bit. I'm just gonna help blend. Now I mix the shimmery gold with the shimmery white, and I'm using a MAC 242 to pop this on the lid. Starting on the inner corner first, and then I will tap where that black is. I want the inner part of my winged liner to be really thin, so I'm going to go in first with my defining pen from Tom Ford and just go right up against the lash line. And now, so I don't throw a fit when I mess up my liner trying to do it on camera, I'm gonna do it off camera with my e.l.f. Black Cream Liner. This is the black cream liner I was talking about. That's what it looks like in case anybody was wondering. It's a nice matte formula. I used my NARS 47 to do it. And then I added on Kiss Ritzy Lash. For my lips, I wanna do a red today. I feel a little spicy. So I'm gonna go with this liquid one from NARS. This is in the shade Don't Just Stop. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this Shop My Stash tutorial. Let me know if you did down below. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about what's going on with work and why I'm not back. But if you don't want to stick around, totally cool. I'll see you guys in my next video. A lot of you know that I was supposed to have returned to work last month. And yeah, we are <laughs> not there. Three weeks ago, I went to the doctor and basically I found out, it wasn't really news to me because I knew that my knee was not doing well. I knew that if I walked for too long, being like 30 minutes, I will swell up really badly. So basically what it boils down to is I am now on sitting restriction permanently unless I have a knee replacement. My job at Nordstrom as a beauty stylist I run around all day long. I'm on my feet all day long. So that's not really a possibility. I don't know if I'm going to have the full replacement. I want to, but I also want to ride my motorcycle. So I hate having surgeries when it's warm. I want it to be in the middle of winter. It's just, it's a thing for me, but I might not have a choice. And that's not saying that I don't want to have the surgery. I'm being forced to. I want it because I want to get better. And I also want to get back to work. I do not like sitting for my job. I know I do it here, but this is fun for me. Sitting at work, or what, I don't even know what I would do. I, it's, I don't know. But I just want to let you guys know that if you're still wondering what's going on, I have no idea. Uh, work comp takes a little bit of time sometimes like right now, <laughs> but when I know what's going on, you guys will know what's going on, I'm fine. Like for the most part, unless I'm walking around, 
I'm fine. But that's all you guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.